Hi guys! Today on this video we'll treat our clothes with permethrin, which is a neurotoxin that attacks the nervous system of ticks. And I'm doing this for tick prevention on myself. I plan to do some weed whacking shortly, so I want to treat my clothes so I don't get ticks. We have a big tick problem on our property. They're pretty much everywhere in tall grass. And uh, ticks carry Lyme disease. I know ours do because we've tested some. They carry Lyme disease and that disease can really mess you up. If it gets in your brain, you can have like uh, problems with standing upright, falling down, different stuff. It's really nasty. So, to protect ourselves from those, we use permethrin. We dilute this into a 0.5% mixture and soak our clothes. And uh, you've probably seen me wear these on some of my other videos, these army clothes. This is basically a pair of uh, pants and a long sleeve uh, cotton shirt and uh, these are perfectly fine for the summer. I have a long sleeve shirt made out of linen which I don't use much anymore so I'm going to soak that too and this will give me a nice set of working clothes for uh, working in tall grass on our property. For application you'll need a ziplock bag, I got a 6 liter here from a popular furniture store in Europe, uh, some vinyl gloves, you can use rubber, whatever. Basically when this is uh, in its wet state, soluble, it can penetrate your skin a bit, so you want to protect yourself, you want to keep this away from cats, it will kill them instantly or very quickly. So it's fine on dogs, but cats, uh, it attacks their nervous system too. So you don't want to get it on yourself, use some gloves just be safe and uh, if for whatever reason you need to dispose of the remainder solution don't put it down your drain because this kills fish and uh, marine life as well so don't put it in water spread it on your lawn or whatever let it dry out once it dry once it, once it dries it's pretty safe you can get into water with those clothes even and it won't uh, solve anymore uh, the thing that I have here in my hands this is a local brand, it's called Ectopar, doesn't matter, but basically it's uh, 25 grams of permethrin in 100 milliliters, so pretty condensed stuff, and also it has some marlipal and n methylo 2 pyrolidon which both are solvents, so this will uh, make a nice solution in water. I got a half a liter of water here. We'll put 10 milliliters of this stuff in here and put it on our clothes. I'll probably need two or three cups for this batch, so I'll mix it a couple of times. And of course, a steering stick that we can dispose of later on. So don't use your kitchen utensils or anything for this. So yeah, this is uh, pretty good. It's wor it worked well for me so far. Uh, once I got a tick, uh, I basically researched the topic and ever since I've been using this for almost two years I haven't had once since so it's pretty good I recommend this to everybody and let's let's get started all right so we have a so we have this uh, mix of uh, 25 grams per hundred milliliters we want a 0.5 percent solution so we take a 10 milliliter amount of this that will give us 2.5 grams and if we put it in uh, 500 milliliters of water that will add up to 0.5% uh, of uh, permethrin in this mix so that is exactly what we want to use first of all put on some gloves all right guys so this is pretty much the same system you would have for your uh, oil for your uh, chainsaw or your two mix engines what you want to do is fill up this container by uh, pressing down on one side so this has to be screwed on and when you squeeze you can see this uh, fill up and that will be uh, 10 milliliters and all you do is just put it in there and you can see this liquid is uh, smoking a bit so we'll take our stick and uh, stir 
and now we know we have a nice solution that we can put into our clothing. All right, so before you start application of this, you want to make sure your clothes fit into the bag. I know mine is a little bit too small to fit everything, so I brought one more. And uh, I'll do the pants first. Here. Just slide them in. This should fit okay. And then I have a little bit smaller bag for the other ones as they don't need that much space. And this should fit in here nicely. There you go. So this will zip up. Also check if you can get a good seal on your bags after you put in your clothes. This will fit nice. This fits nicely too. And uh, yeah, so we can begin. Basically what I want to do is take this mix and without spilling too much, just pour it in. All right. And you can see some is coming out on the bottom. I'm going to zip tie this now and make sure it gets distributed nicely all around the garment. Let some air out of the bag. And I can see not all of it is uh, totally wet, so it probably needs. Uh, maybe half of that container more just uh, to get soaked nicely so I'm gonna mix up some more alrighty some more into the pants This side, this side. All right. I think this is getting pretty heavy and nice, so I'm going to zip tie this and make sure it's all wet and good. You can feel that the pan's getting heavy from the liquid. There's not much spilling out. You can always add more if you need more. There's no point in uh, overflowing it, but it's better to get everything soaked nicely. So I put a liter in here now. Usually I do this with the cotton shirt, that's why I'm not sure how much it takes for the pants alone, but it seems a liter is a bit too much because the liquid no more gets absorbed. That's okay, we can always put some in here. So I'll put this to the side and mix up another batch for these two. All right, here we go. Batch number three. So I prefer to mix as I go instead of making one big tank because 
this way I don't have to deal with uh, permafrost that is left over. And uh, there's a lot of cats around here, so I wouldn't want to spray it out and have one of them get hurt. And uh, yeah. So let's go with bag number two. And these guys will drink up the liquid much more because the materials are different. Alright. So in this bag there's a bit too much moisture and permafrost liquid. I can squeeze it out and just put it in here by rinsing. Alright, so once you're done pouring the liquid solution you want to zip tie these tightly and then just go to town and squish it around so that the moisture moves nicely through the garments and coats everything with uh, permafrost. So this will be pretty wet when you pull them out of the bags and you want to hang them out to dry possibly in a non a sunny place so maybe your garage or some shade and let them dry naturally don't put them in your uh, drying machine so once these are dry they will be good for about six weeks or six washes whichever comes first I don't tend to wear them that often when I don't go into tall grass that often so they easily last me for six weeks then I'll do this again and this bottle quarter liter will last for long time 25 of these uh, little parts so if I use three then that's uh, easily for a year or two all right guys thanks for watching this video I hope you liked it stay safe don't let the ticks bite you and uh, I hope I'll see you next time bye